Hey guys, Tyson here. Gonna come at you with something a little different today. I'm about 80 miles south of Boise, Idaho. Or I should say we. See that guy over there? About 80 miles south of Boise, Idaho. And this is the newest addition to the Daniel family. I believe it's an 86, the 3500, the three plus three. Dually as you can see. So, plan is, this is Christopher's new daily driver. Plan is to slam it, put some semi wheels on it, get rid of that camper, get rid of these running boards, get rid of these CB antennas, bug shield, deflector, whatever you want to call that ugly thing. Redo the mirrors at some point. But that's it, man. Beast of a truck. And I... So it had a camper, like a, a real camper on it. On the back, and that's the guy kind of built himself a little deck to step out onto. And that's what that is. And that'll be going away as well. Uh, the interior is actually pretty clean. As you can see, that seat is actually in really good shape. It had a cover on it, so... Dash is in good shape as well. The real dash under the pad. That is the actual miles from what we can tell. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's 58,000. Back seat. A little Corona mask there. Carpet's in decent shape. Just a little toy for the road there, rest stops. Um, I'll show you guys the back too. You see the bed's actually in pretty good shape. Not a bad unit. We gotta drive all the way up to Kennewick, Washington from Albuquerque. That was, I want to say, 1,200 miles. It took us about 21 hours. We had to stop a lot. We just rented a car, drove it from Albuquerque, picked this thing up, and then we're on the way back now. We actually stopped and got a hotel room last night, so that was nice to actually sleep. But that's it, man. That's the unit. I just want to give you guys a quick update on that. So I'll have some more videos and stuff. Once Christopher gets some more of the stuff pulled off, we'll do it. Do another video and uh, kind of contemplate an LS swap at this point because it's got the uh, the 454 motor in it. So the 454 motor and a TH400 trans. But yeah, I mean, we'll get some progress videos and stuff on that just so you guys, I mean, if you care to see it, we'll definitely put it on. Just throw something in the comments. Um, but that's it for now. We're going to get back on the road and try and get this thing back to Albuquerque. We'll talk to you guys later. What's going on guys? This is, I guess, part two of the C30 that we have appropriately named Gordon. That's the name of the uh, original owner who sold to me. He passed away a little past 90 years old and took pretty good care of it for me. So I named the truck after him. So this is Gordon. You saw the picture of it earlier on the road. Um, this is now what it looks like. I've taken the camper off, the stepper, or the side steps. Uh, just kind of cleaned it up a little bit. So that's, that's how it is. I took that huge ass uh, swim deck off the back. Here's the interior. I got took all the seat covers off. The, the, uh, the cover on the dash and I actually steam cleaned the carpet. Got all cleaned up and I've been driving it like this for the past four or five months. You can see the car seats in the back. Um, I take the little ones around. They, they love riding this thing. It was kind of a pain getting those car seats in there. That's gonna that's another discussion. But anyway, I made it work, so yeah, and the reason it's in the shop now is because it is time for the LS swap. Let me show you real quick here before get too far. So what the, the old tire 454 that was in here. Still 
has all the smog equipment, pretty much everything original. I did replace this, the overflow tank, because it was cracked on the bottom. It was just had like a pinhole leak. But other than that, I mean, this is pretty much the way Chevy made it. So, um, like I said, all this coming out and the LS is going to go in there. It's a little 5.3, all aluminum. I ended up getting a turbo for it, and hopefully this will be a fun little daily driver. So, uh... We're going to start tearing this thing out here pretty within the next couple days and yeah, get it going. So we'll keep you guys updated as we got uh, as we go. We have a bunch of parts already for it, so hopefully it goes by. It'll go pretty pretty smooth. But I'm sure we'll get hung up on, you know, ordering parts at some point, but I think I have pretty much everything I need, so that's where we're at with this. So, you guys stay tuned, man. This is going to be this is going to be fun. I'll try and get it going within a month time frame or so I'm, so I'm hoping for so we'll see what happens other than that we're gonna get to work here so we'll keep you guys updated as we go